So hello everybody. It is 2019. Happy New Year. Coming to you this morning on a fine January morning. Man, it is beautiful out. It's going to make a run at 47 degrees here. Anyhow, I wanted to talk today about did you plant for a 365 supply of food in your plot this past fall? What? You didn't? Good news. We're here to tell you. It is almost a month and a half away or so to an important time where if you did not plant that specific uh, things in your plot to feed year-round, you will be able to frost seed very, very soon. And you ask me, hey, I've never done that before. What exactly are you talking about? Well, you can put some uh, oats and rye and things down, clovers and things, in with your fall mixes. So in the spring, there's going to be something green and growing year-round in addition to these brassicas and turnips that you planted in the fall. So I'm going to uh, show you what I've got here at the house. Turn this camera around. I've got this small plot here, about a half acre. We'll walk out into it. And <clears throat> you're probably not going to be able to see it all, but there's a lot of leaves mixed in. But we've got a lot of brassicas and turnips and things. And I mixed in some clovers and rye. So come spring, there's going to be a lot of green happening here. And so the deer are provided for 365. They've been digging up all these brassicas and turnips and things. And uh, like I said, in a couple of months, when things warm up and the sun heats up this soil, there will be some clovers and rye mixed in and it'll be year-round food just food for thought just let me add to this while i'm thinking about it now is a good time to start thinking about amending your soil if you uh, haven't taken a soil sample lately you need to uh, now's a good time to get that well it has to be dry of course but uh, which is a problem here in PA with all the rain but dig that soil let it dry out on a piece of cardboard crumble it up put it in your bag send it off see what you need but now would be a perfect time you know pelletized lime takes a long time to break down and do you some good for your pH so start thinking about your lime and amending your soil with your macro and micronutrient so I just wanted to add that in